Hello, uh, today we are going to be talking about the molecular structure of chromosomes. Uh, our group is called the Mitos, and my name is Ivana. Lily. Lorena. Roger. Start off by explaining how the histones get wrapped around by the DNA molecule. Okay, they do that, and we get our final product. This is a nucleosome. You're cutting your hand. Okay. There you go. The blacks would be the DNA molecule, and our histone is being wrapped by it. Shown over here, this blue part is your DNA, and then this is like your histone, and all together, this one area is your nucleosome, which was the model. Okay, so next. We are going to explain how several of these nucleosomes form the zigzag model. As they start to condense together, we get R. This would be like the 10 nanometer model. And then when they condense closely together, we get our 30 nanometer model. Which is back here. This is our zigzag. This is cool. Oh. Solenoid. There you go. Okay. So this is the different steps of condensing. We already went over um, right here. This would be the nucleosomes just like kind of being wrapped in the DNA. And then they condense to this 30 nanometer fiber. So then our next section would be these radial loops. Now the radial loops are made up of this the 30 nanometer model, but as they start to condense more they start to form these loops and it shows so this right here would probably be just this small section of the whole radial loop so it's just kind of like we're starting to zoom out radial loops can be defined as two different sections this one, this one here is the less compact version of the radial loops and that is the u chromatin loop and then we also have this one that's invisible with my shirt. <laughs> this is the heterochromatin. It's a lot more compact and a lot longer in length as well, if you were to actually unwind or unravel it. This is the euchromatin. Yeah. Yeah. This would be the euchromatin and then the heterochromatin. That's an example of it. It's just more tightly compact. Also, we have your MARs and your SARs. MAR are your matrix attaching regions, and SARs are your scaffolding attaching regions. Uh, along with that, they're basically what the regions that allow these loops to form along this strand. They bind at each point by a protein that allows for them to compact and get a little bit more close, you know, more confined. The red would be your protein scaffold, and the those loops are binding to it. Sure, your matrix attachment. Finally, oh, we have your chromosome territory. Territory is a territory that is uh, ultimately where the chromosomes like to hang out. Yeah. So this is just the chromosomes by themselves, and then this would ultimately be how they form inside of the nucleus in a more, for, further more compact form. Um, these two show the different phases of the cell cycle. This would be where the chromosomes hang out in the interphase part, and then this would be the metaphase section. So chromosome territory is ultimately where the chromosomes are more compact into a certain area. Like an example. And each of the fluorescent colors are different regions for different chromosome types. So one, obviously, two corresponds to green. G corresponds to that aqua color. Do there four and so on. They all just kind of have their own fluorescent colorations that they found during uh, these were found during the interface. So now we've gone over the different model structures. We've explained to you the nucleosome, how it's wrapped into the DNA. Uh, the histones wrapped by the DNA molecule. And as more of them formed and get wrapped by more of the DNA molecule, they start to form these um, loop types. And then they condense into the 30 nanometer model, which form the radial loops on the protein scaffold. And we've shown you the different types of radial loops. You have your 
buchromatin and heterochromatin. And um, these are actually a segment of the chromosome itself. So, so they all come together to be one chromosome. Yeah. So they come and form a little chromosome, so this radial loop would come out from like this section of the chromosome. Everything just condenses and condenses and your and end this product is, is... what we would see in like under a microscope. And then we have and with their territories. territories. And the territories and where they hang out. All in like a little area. And that's everything. Thank you. Yeah.